Have you heard the term big data before? It means something like a large quantity of information. But what is it all about? Big data is defined by its volume, the velocity with which information expands, and the variety of its content. This vast pool of data can no longer be grasped by the human brain alone. We need computer programs to transfer the data into single chunks of information that we can comprehend. How does the data come into being anyway? Let's have a look at Ike from Nigeria, who lives in the coastal city of Lagos. He aspires to be a journalist one day. To stay informed, he uses the internet via his smartphone and his laptop. He listens to music, goes shopping, and plans his vacation. The websites he visits gather information about his interests. That way, the ads shown to him are personalized. But Ike is just one user of many, which means that corporations who have access to a big mass of data by many users of their websites and software can analyze the behavior and preferences of these users. Not only single corporations have access to big data, but governments do too. Depending on the region, people have a different opinion on the influence of targeted advertising. In China, people are sympathetic towards this possibility, while Americans are rather skeptical. They are concerned that information gathered from big data could not only be used for advertising, but for influencing the outcome of political campaigns as well. However, there is huge progress made thanks to big data. Take medical technologies, for example. A supercomputer has been used for cancer treatment. Using pictures of millions of cancer cells, the supercomputer diagnosed patients faster than an experienced physician. But not only that, a treatment plan to battle cancer that would take a team of physicians hours to come up with takes the computer a couple of minutes. Let's have a look at Ike once more. During rainy season, his city is threatened by flash floods on a regular basis. In the future, intelligent software that has been fed with data of past year's heavy rains could use this analysis to predict when the risk for flash floods is especially high. The government, in turn, could use this data to effectively prevent crises and to be better prepared for natural disaster. Now, whether big data analysis is a blessing or a curse depends on how it is used. What we can say for sure, however, is that the future will be shaped by big data.